Hey everyone, and welcome to the 23rd episode of the Luke Roxwell Podcast. That name is pending. And today, I am here with Michael. Hey! Brent. What's up? And John. Hey. Sometimes I have like little moments where I kind of forget for like one second who, who's on this podcast. Um, <laughs> but as always, you can check us out on iTunes, SoundCloud, and YouTube. So, you know, do that. Also, I thought about when we talked about this last time when we were saying... Uh, why am I telling the listener who's already listening to go listen to us? It's because the listener could quite possibly be listening for the first time and they've known about this podcast forever and just made excuses to not listen. And I'm saying they have no excuse. Because of the platform? Yeah, because they, they, they literally, it's so easy to listen to this. So easy. It is. I like it's it one while, of the most easy things. I do it while do. driving my car, I listen while pooping. Not working. Wow, I'm really glad we're at that stage where we can just share. That's all I do, really. Those three things, and I, I, listen, I listen to our podcast during all of them. Good. It's not a way to live. That's listeners. That's what you should do. Just FYI. Actually, I listen that's, to uh, our podcast, the, the Conor McGregor one. Yeah. With Sean, you yesterday. Were, have you been going through? You've been going through the old ones. Did, is yeah, when, I'm, when I have a long drive, I'll pull up a podcast. So. I don't, I hate driving for long periods of time without anything going on. Right. Get lost in thoughts. I was mm -hmm. listening to it, and I was like, I was really stupid in that one. I kept having really strong <laughs> opinions about things I knew nothing about. What What were some <laughs> of the, the opinions? American way. Classic. That's right. well, I remember I told you that like if, uh, if a convenience store sells a winning lottery ticket, statistically, they're less likely to sell one again. I've never seen that anywhere. I just thought that. And I defended it <laughs> for like ten minutes, and Jesus, you proved dude. me wrong. And I still kept like defending it. No, I think it's funny because I never mentioned this, but like when that happened, I was trying to let you down easy. And I would not go down. Like I was trying to just be like, <laughs> I was trying to just like move on from it. I was like, oh, that's completely wrong. But um, <laughs> I would just move on. And you kept kind of coming back to it. It was like, um, well, <laughs> it's also the American way. Yep. That's right. Never back like, down. I love that you were like I, you're like I I said my opinion and I didn't even think about it, but then I defended it even though I was. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then uh, during the would you rather between like sneezing and turning to a girl or guy and then like not being able not being able to tell the difference between babies and muffins, I was mm -hmm. like, well, scientifically, if you turn into a girl, this would happen. As if like a wizard turning into a a <laughs> girl when you sneeze is a scientific scientifically monitored event. It was dumb. There was a yeah, there was a was comedy there was a comedy sketch where the guy was talking about people watching Star Wars and then being like that's not real that's not realistic <laughs> like there's sound in space that's not real and he's this like would never happen yeah I know and he's like dude they have lightsabers <laughs> like, and you're like oh that's not realistic I think um to go back to that not to that conversation exactly but <laughs> to go back to listening to podcasts just in general and one of the reasons that it's really I really think it's valuable to have this podcast is there are not very many situations where you can actually listen to yourself have a real conversation with other people mm -hmm. that's I think that's really valuable and that's one of the reasons I like doing this I like to you know you find out the weird things you do like you're like oh man no wonder they all got offended I sound like a jerk <laughs> you know it's great speaking of um jerks <laughs> well um hmm so, one person did what I asked them to, and that person's not on this podcast. So, you guys are all in trouble. How's that work? I don't know what happened. Did you say you, did you, say you were at work, or how's that work? I was at work. Oh. <laughs> but I did so tell like, you... The, how's I that did, work? I did tell you the one How that I didn't like. Work? You did the exact opposite Names. of what I told you to do, Michael. <laughs> that was oh, the one I had the strongest feeling towards. So, I think I said the one I liked. Sorry, go ahead. I was nope. just say tell you should tell the listeners what we're talking about. Yeah, so I gave so basically when I said this name is pending, Luke Roxwell Podcast, it was always a placeholder name and we've been trying to come up with like a new name that really catches the feeling we're trying to go for and is also interesting and catchy and all those other things. Uh so I came up with a list of like a hundred things. That's a pretty long list. Maybe more like fifty things. And I sent it to them uh earlier today and was like, hey, just tell me three of these that are your favorite. And then nobody responded. So I was like, or <laughs> just, tell me, just tell me three of them that you like. And then Michael responds with, I hate this one. 
And he's like, all right, I asked you to do one thing. Well, then it, and Michael did the exact opposite. That. I know. So you have one job. <laughs> I just, I just really wanted you guys deal. to know that I did not like that one, and I, we should not pick it. The the one he doesn't the one he doesn't like is Circle Gang. Yeah, this sounds weird. <laughs> Does that, did I actually write that down? Yeah, that was the first one. No, no, no. That's two words. <laughs> these are this, words that I... It's circle and gang. I was like, well, these are words we could use. This, goes, gang. this is a throwback to like when uh, Luke was like, all right, I wrote a list of words I like. First one is circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like some of these ones, actually. I'm kind of excited to finally pick one. I just, you know, wanna, I want to think about it a little bit before I just choose one and rebrand yeah. the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I just want to say you guys are all in trouble. So I don't care. <laughs> Michael, I love that Michael's response was like immediately after I said that he just goes, "Oh, <laughs> all right." Okay, so topics for today. Um, John, can you talk to us? I know I know most of us already know this, but I I kind of want to talk to the listeners about it. So pretend like you're telling us about Battlefront Two. Battlefront oh, Two, a Star Wars <laughs> video game. <clears throat> By EA, <laughs> Electronic Arts. First of all, EA, so you already know it's bad news. Michael, you actually, so did you know what was going on, Michael? Did you actually read the stuff that's yeah, I, I down was in with the conversation. Us? I was really upset about this. Okay. Good, everyone yes. is. Who here? Yeah, who been actually, voted who? Uh, oh, worst company in America before. <laughs> uh, like three times. Yeah. Really? Three in America? Years, yeah. yeah. In America. Worse than Comcast. And the people trying to defend them, it's like, well, banks are worse. It's like, yeah, but they're still dicks, so. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Who here played Battlefront back when it was big? Yeah, the real ones? Star Wars Battlefront 2, I played a lot. Everyone here has played it. That's like the first game that we have all played. Mm. Probably. First game we all played? Yeah, because I I played Battlefront a lot when I was younger. I liked those Um, games. And so did I. And then they never made any more. Just the first two. Yeah, I agree with that. I can agree with that. Yeah, then they I just agree made, they didn't make any more. They just made a <laughs> money making machine. Cash grabs. Microtransactions. Yeah. You paid eighty dollars. How about yeah, yeah, so seven thousand more? Yeah. So anyway, so um, well, when, this... when it came out last time, they were like, "All right, let's not put any content into this." That's right. Put the name out, and this one's like, "Let's just let's just package the first one with more content." Yes. But yeah. with money. Anyways, yeah, everybody's <laughs> angry because yeah, um, we'll, we'll go back. So you were saying that the first one came out. And the first one was not. It was it was okay. I heard it was all right, but the there was like not one. very much okay. in it. There was no, uh, it was lacking a lot. It sucked. No single player, which I, I don't mind. There, there wasn't is. any single player in the very first one. I PS1 only played too. multiplayer it's on true. Battlefront anyway. Yeah. And like Battlefield, it's a Battlefield clone, so I, I'm fine with no single player, but. Mm-hmm. I know what I'm getting into. Like Battlefield games are known for having large uh, multiplayer battles, so. right? So this um, first one comes out, and it's not. It, I feel like the reviews weren't bad, but they weren't great either. It's like you got to really be into Star Wars to um, appreciate that game. No one, no one would buy that game if it wasn't Star Wars. Exactly. Yes. Because it was very generic. And the only reason people bought it is because it looked good and it was a Star Wars game. Because sometimes you can play as Darth Vader once you spend $8,000. Yeah. <laughs> so Spoiler now tell alert. us about this This second one. Is it out yet? Or is it coming yeah, out? Yeah, it just came out. It just came out... Tuesday, I think. Okay. And 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 so that's the context. <laughs> What's going on? What has happened okay. in the internet? So uh, when you play this game, you can upgrade your multiplayer character by so you earn credits for doing good in the game and you use these credits to buy crates that randomly give you cards Mm -hmm. um and these are used to upgrade your character and so directly affects things you get in crates directly affect how good you are in the game basically how strong Mm -hmm. you are so that's that's already a problem i have because you can buy are they are they upgrades they're not yeah. pay to yes, win, it's upgrades. No. Well, wait, hang on. You can buy credits to get the upgrades with real money. Pay real money. Yeah. So, you can either, so you can either play the game and then do well and get points and then buy stuff to make yourself or win more or... Just you drop can be money. what 
people call whales and just spend shitloads of money <laughs> and be way better than anyone else. No, that's a real term. That's why. Why are they called whales? Because they have never heard money that. to invest. I, I don't. Mm. I don't know. I'm not I wonder why they're video. called whales. I guess I don't know, but that, that's the term for people who just okay. Like, so I'm not gonna play the game. I'm just gonna spend a thousand dollars and be way better without any. So action. you can basically pay if you're rich or whatever. You can pay money and be the best player and unlock everything immediately. Yes. Okay, I'm now with this, you so far. This sounds bad, and and all at the same time, I'm not surprised by it. This is a common thing in video games today. That's but true. here's the real kicker: is you can play as Darth Vader or Luke Skywalker. But to play as Darth Vader or Luke Skywalker, you have to pay the equivalent of, uh, I can't remember the exact number, but it's either play 40 hours, earn enough credits, and not upgrade your characters at all, or Or spend like $300. Yeah, it was like two something. Holy crap. Also, they were unlocked from the start in the first game. Yeah. Yes. You just had to like... Do first well game was clear match. Yeah, and then so you basically like you need to spend. So nobody could play as Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader for like weeks. Yes, yep. you were the guy that dropped. Unless, unless you're a whale, you pay that's just like I'm just gonna spend all of this Tinder. <laughs> that's my whale sound. <laughs> Speaking <of> whale. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the noise they make when they're pushing the transaction button, sending in the money. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway so that so this terms. bad thing happens and this is like very frowned upon as in fact i know people that were like boycotting battlefront one the one right okay so hold up for the listeners there was battlefront uh one and two that came out like 10 years ago something like that like quite a while ago yeah long, long and long. now they're re-releasing they new games right. 13 oh no i'm sorry i just heard him say in a galaxy far far away <laughs> so continue. in a galaxy right close to here not a long time ago like a week ago um well actually like a year ago they released the games again like a new upgraded new version of the game like a new game but they called it battlefront and now they just released another one called battlefront 2 so there's battlefront 1 the old one battlefront 2 the old one there's battlefront 1 the new one and battlefront 2 the new one so battlefront 1 the new one <laughs> A lot of people had a problem with that game. I remember that. People were like boycotting it, saying, I'm not going to buy this game because they're not giving us any content for all the money. And it's like a $60, $70 game. So now the second game is coming out and you can pay $200 to play as Darth Vader. Mm-hmm. Or any now, other hero character, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Crazy. Mm-hmm. It makes That's me, ne- it makes me never, never want to buy a video game ever again. I don't know about that. Because um, video games is pretty great. Video games seem to be doing that all the time, man. Like, you gotta pay much Nah, of money. dog. Nintendo, man. It's just like... Nintendo's here's cool. Fucking 300 hours of Mario in Nintendo your is also like, we're never gonna discount our games. That's also <laughs> true. Yeah, but, but I'd rather, so, I'd rather also pay... also charge you for the same game twice. Yeah, I, I feel like Nintendo doesn't charge... I mean, what's a game? 60 bucks for Nintendo? Yeah. Yeah, now. it's like, I'm paying 60 bucks and getting a huge game. Versus yeah, the wild, these other people, where it's like, hours. oh, it's sixty bucks when you first buy it, and then it goes down to forty dollars. But you got to pay a hundred dollars to unlock the rest of the maps that we didn't give you in the beginning. Also, PC is kind of having a good golden era of indie games and stuff. Yeah, it is. so quite the whole a lot of movement things on Steam. The whole Steam, I was gonna say Steam in general, is like changed. There's also a lot of game. garbage. But there's quite a, a lot of good stuff too. So, with that being said, John. Um, what what is it that kind of happened this week that is uh, <laughs> the funny part of this story? Um, are you talking about the Reddit post? Heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah, <laughs> I am. Uh, so yeah, like uh, <clears throat> people are bitching online <laughs> on Reddit, <laughs> and EA responded saying we're actively watching how people play the game so we'll adjust the prices which is just a misdirect <laughs> right like it's not yep not serious so we're gonna how's that, how's that how's that even an answer it's a, hey you're it's charging me too much money answer, you're, answer, you're yeah. charging yeah. me too much money for this tv there's no way that i should be paying as much and then the answer is well, we're watching people who are paying too much money <laughs> they're trying we're to, we're just to see how think about making like, sure that that's what's going on. See if people are really spending that much money. See if money. people are going to spend the money, and then if they don't, we'll lower the price. And you can just wait <laughs> to play well Darth Vader like, forever. 
EA just wants us to be like, you know what? We'll just stop being poor. That's cool. That's what they really want. <laughs> it's just. That's what I, I want. Don't know, uh, yeah. So PR statement <laughs> came out. Yeah. Totally PR ridiculous statement PR came out. statement. Downvoted instantly. It just got blasted. 450,000 <laughs> within like 30 <laughs> minutes. The largest, most downvote, downvoted comment in Reddit history. Wow. Amazing. An explosion of people just even, furious. I don't even use Reddit, and I was thinking about making an account just to downvote it. Just to downvote it. <laughs> yeah, it's funny it because yet, for I like, if, mm. I, I'm assuming a lot of people know kind of a, how Reddit works, but if you don't, every comment and every post, you can either upvote or downvote one time. If you have an account, you can upvote or downvote it one time. And um, the number that you get is the net number. So this comment could have had upvotes and downvotes, all from hundreds and hundreds and yeah it, it doesn't matter it could have All had, had votes it could have had a ton of upvotes but it's a net number was negative i think at this point it's like five hundred thousand. Whoa! it's like it's oh it's gotta countries. be huge now, so it's, yeah. it's like oh i don't know so at least five hundred thousand people oh it's more than it. that it's more than five hundred thousand guarantee it because i know some people were upvoting it because it's just that's the way it works um but it's funny yeah, yeah. because the comments before that. So this is the most downvoted comment on Reddit of all time. Out of the millions of posts that they have on there. And the one before that netted like 20,000. So this one just like blew that one out of the water. <laughs> yeah. It's just like no contest at all. One's 20,000, the other's half a million. That's insane. They deserve it. They suck. <laughs> That's right. Worst company. Ever, so who's gonna buy a Battlefront two? Not me. <laughs> I don't even have uh, a, a game system from this decade. Yeah, I have a huge <laughs> Star Wars uh, nerd friend that bought it like day one. Is he? Oh, they have the problem. Two, two of my roommates. He understands the problem, but like he he just likes Star Wars that much. Doesn't care. Fair enough, I guess. I really need to buy my ticket for communist. <laughs> I said that uh, earlier, where I was like, if, if this was not a Star Wars game, it it would it would not it would flop. No one would buy it because yep. the only Star reason people buy awesome. it is because Star Wars. I love Star Wars, but I don't play video Everyone games that much. Everyone loves Star Wars, except my sister. Are people... She didn't love Star Wars. <gasps> are you guys excited for the uh, the new one? Are you gonna try and see it yes. at midnight or anything? Yeah, I need to buy my ticket. La- for, what, what, uh, the Force Awakens, I bought my ticket in like early like October, like the eighteenth of December or something like that. Okay, cool. 17th December twelfth, something December? like that. Hopefully, my wife will be living here. Oh. Does awesome she like Star Wars? She likes Star Wars now. Yeah. Oh. Well, she probably always did, but she didn't seem that interested when we watched Seven. And she's like, I want to go see Eight. I'm like, that's right. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I was like, oh, oh okay, good. Um, did you guys have an opinion on Seven versus Rogue One? I thought I Rogue One was better. I like the <gasps> sassy robot. He reminded me of HK-47. It was I think I, I think I like seven better. Uh, I did not like Rogue One, or but uh, I didn't really like seven. <gasps> I felt like seven was too uh, swashbuckly. Actually, this a, is a good. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Michael. You, go ahead. Do your thing. Well, I, I'm not changing the subject because this is about Star Wars, but I'm bringing totally up a story that has to do with me, John, and Brent, and Star Wars, and somebody else. What? So. Oh yeah, um, I remember this. Good old days. <laughs> You're gonna remember in a second. Um, the cataclysm, <laughs> the div- the division. Oh yeah. So okay. About <laughs> when we were all back in school, uh, it was me. What, what are we gonna call this guy? Let's call him Joe. Okay. Me. <laughs> Joe. Uh, me. Joe no, no. How about a more annoying name like Chip or <laughs> Chad. 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 <laughs> Definitely Chad. Um, so me, oh, I'm probably going to say his real name, but I'll, I'll be careful. I, I just don't want to, it doesn't matter. His name yeah, is I guess we can't pick a C name. Oh, it's funny. Oh. <laughs> no, it's funny because like, the clues. It's, it's, it's funny, funny because he doesn't listen there's to podcasts. There's no way, it, spoiler, there's no way he's going to know. But so here, so here's the thing. So it's Shane. Uh, no, it's not. It's not Shane. <laughs> How'd you know? That would be I so funny if it was Shane. That's why um, not on tonight. So back, back when me, John and Brent were in college, before John was even hanging out with us that much, like it was me, Brent, and this guy Chad, <laughs> and we did like we were in most of our class. We were mostly in the same classes. 
we would usually get like lunch together and then we would like that should hang just out be his name yeah chad <laughs> that makes sense. pretty uh, sense. he's pretty chatty so we we were we were like a group like we were just always in the same class so we were all just kind of hanging out and then john like slowly started to kind of like hang out with us as well but anyway so um the reason i'm telling you john wasn't quite as a part of the group is because we were in a class together and then me brent and chad made a facebook chat to like talk it's about homework i know <laughs> to talk about homework and uh like like stuff we were gonna do and like where we we're gonna meet like it was like our, our group chat kind of like our podcast chat is uh and then eventually john jumped on that about probably a year later or half a year later or something so then all four of us were in this chat <laughs> um <laughs> man so there there was always like there were some arguments that happened in the chat like just always p- people bringing up opinions and we'd all <laughs> go back opinions. and forth i know um things mm-hmm. like you're only smart if you read <laughs> or, yeah. or like uh that's my favorite one yeah that I'm trying was to, amazing i couldn't there, believe that shit yeah, that was pretty intense. i was messing with him when he said that I know. I, and then he said it and i was like well let's so, see where this fucking goes <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like it was just kind of oh, it, we'd be talking in this chat and then chad would say something and then like all of us would like message each other outside of the chat like yeah what come on what it, oh, <laughs> well, i'm not gonna cool. say this but i'm really frustrated <laughs> so i brought up that i um kind of liked the new star wars movie this is the funny part because we've had all these arguments right mm-hmm. and this is like this is the one that broke it this is the big one i liked star wars 7 i, I enjoyed watching it now yeah, it's good it's not perfect it was a lot like episode 4 but I didn't think that the things that made it like episode four really mattered that much. You know, it's like, mm. oh, there's a set of a Death Star. It's a planet. <laughs> I don't I don't really care. It's who cares? That's not it was the part better of the pod not, racer, and that makes right. it good. <laughs> it's I mean, better racer. than the prequels. You know what I mean? So anyway, I said that and then this guy Chad was like, Oh, it's episode 4.2. Oh, you're going to talk about episode 4.2 again? And he posts on Facebook. Oh, I hope everyone enjoyed episode 4.2. <laughs> like he kept kept doing that. And it was just like every time he'd, he'd bring it up and then like like he was like ready, you know? Like he'd bring it up like, hey, Star Wars, like at least this Star Wars book is good, not like episode 4.2. <laughs> like kept. And so when people do that, I have a hard time not kind of going back and being like, it's not that bad actually. So, um, there was one point where I eventually was like, I'm not going to discuss this dumb movie anymore. It's just a dumb movie, and this is stupid. No one's going to budge on this. So, we stopped talking about it. It really wasn't a big deal to me. So, um, I think a couple, like a month or two later, I found some funny meme about Star Wars. And I think it was about the new one. And it didn't even make the new one look good. I think it seven? made seven look bad. Like it was making fun oh, of seven. One. No seven. No, nah, well, the, me- the meme was about Rogue One. Are you sure? No, it was not about Rogue One. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was about seven. Yeah, it yeah. was. But no, I mean, it made. <laughs> what he just said. Now John's gonna leave. <laughs> John's talking to himself here. So like, <laughs> um, I posted a picture that was making fun of seven. I think I don't. I don't even remember. I don't remember what it was. I, I posted it. I, it'd be really important to know what that was because it it. Well, Facebook this. doesn't delete anything, so just roll it back. So, um, that's right. That's true. I post that picture. No response. Just leaves the group. <laughs> it was amazing. It's the most incredible <laughs> shit I've ever seen. And then, or oh, something so petty. <laughs> and then when I came back to Virginia, didn't want to meet up. Like I, t- I, I texted John and Chad and was like, "Hey, you guys want to try and meet up?" Nope. Then over time. He deletes me off Facebook. Oh, man. <laughs> and then he, he, we're in our own chat now. It's just me, John, and Brent now. And then he, like, deletes Brent. Like, Brent just shows up later. He's like, all right, well, I'm cut off now, too. <laughs> I was last, I think. Oh, were you? Oh, well, then John, I think, so. I think John got deleted next. And it was just, like, slowly us getting yeah. cut off one at a time. <laughs> and we were like, um, I remember so we. weird. We, I know it's just like what? Like, like what is Star we do, Wars? First off, second off, S- so fuck like Star Wars I broke the friendship. He was probably gonna come to the wedding, and now all I of a mean, sudden, yeah, well, that blew up, uh, at one point, at one point he was going to, not anymore. Yeah, 
Way to go, Chad. Thanks, Chad. Ruined Star Wars for everyone. <laughs> That's right. Destroyed Star Wars destroyed our friendship. Yeah. Thanks a lot, J.J. Abrams and, and Star Wars 7. It's pretty amazing, J.J. Abrams. Really. J.J. Abrams. <laughs> J.J. Abrams. Shabba the Abrams. Yeah, so be careful what opinions you have on movies because it might make yeah, watch, you watch out. divide your friendships up. For example... Okay. I really didn't like the, in the trailers of Rogue One. They had, Wait, like, what did you stuff. say, John? Hold up, before we... What did you oh. say, John? <laughs> For example, Baby Driver. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've still That's... only seen half of that movie. Oh, oh, why did so you only good. see half of it? I was at my cousin's house. You're watching it on, like, what? on like some pirated streaming thing. Wasn't it pretty good, though? It was cool, but like I couldn't hear any of the audio. It was really crappy. And then they all fell asleep. <laughs> it's literally it was... a musical, and so it's like... Um... Yeah, so I gotta, I gotta watch it again. All right, what were you going to say, though, Michael? Oh, yeah, like in the, the trailer for Rogue One, they had tons of stuff in the trailer that wasn't in the movie. There was a whole yeah, like, voiceover. Her walking Whitaker. towards the start. She was, there's a scene where she's like walking towards a TIE fighter. Just not even yeah. in the movie. And there's a scene where she's like wearing like, uh, like an Imperial Troopers like, uh, uniform that's not in the movie. I don't think. It's like a quote from Forrest Whitaker when he's like, What will you come? That's not in the movie. What? So that's much, really good acting yeah. right there. Thanks, man. <laughs> and then the worst thing though is my so in the trailer there's a scene where like there's a back to tank and there's imperial guards next to it and there's somebody in a hood bowing to the back to tank and we're like holy crap is that gonna be Snoke is that Darth Sidious what's happening mm-hmm. and then it turns out to be Darth, just Darth Vader healing in a back to tank and there's just some other guy <laughs> we were like, we were analyzing that 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 one frame for like days very disappointing so you're someone who would analyze trailers Michael yeah. Except for this new one, I haven't. I've I purposely not looked at much. So I want to be surprised. I haven't when watched I go see it. a single trailer. Yeah, we were talking about that actually before we I jumped don't watch on this trailers. call. I have a friend who's trailers like, really ruin movies. Well, I have yeah, a friend who, who there's a friend who like theorizes the tra- like what's going to happen, and he Chat knows two. a lot about Star Wars, and so he's like, "Hey, Luke, do you um, mind spoilers for the new Star Wars?" I was like, "Uh, yeah." <laughs> don't tell don't say anything and he's like oh well actually you know it's not a spoiler because it probably won't happen i don't <laughs> dude i don't care if it might not happen this is you chad might be 2. right 0. yes yeah, <laughs> chad, chad 2.0 hope you enjoyed yeah. tad 2.0 the upgraded chad chad 7 yeah sure upgrade that's yep <laughs> yeah so <clears throat> sorry I, I watch trailers uh, for the most part because I just like trailers, but they do. They spoil everything for the most part. Mm-hmm. I remember I was, I was really bummed that I watched the trailer for Spider-Man Homecoming because it basically gave away the whole movie for me. Like every yeah. Spider-Man trailer ever? Yeah, like every trailer <laughs> just ever. just show you the movie? They always but show least... the best scenes or shit that... Uh, I, said, so hook you. I said it on the podcast that in Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2, I think it was Amazing Spider-Man 2, it was either one or two, they show the ending scene mm-hmm. after the credits <laughs> in, in the, the trailer. Thing? What? Yeah. It's magic. Yeah. Sony, man. Craziness. Sony's the worst. Even That's why the Spider Man movies. Well. Sure. N- n- well. <laughs> I don't know. Sony's, I... Sony's pretty bad. Sony's, Sony's really Sony annoying. makes some okay games. They're all right. Oh, I mean, we're talking about movies, but yeah. What does oh, Sony, Sony make pictures. that's a video game? What does Sony make that's... Oh, oh, PS. Yeah. Oh, P- okay. I mean, it's a different division, but... I mean, it's like... Well, PlayStation doesn't make video games. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. There's uh, Sony Computer Entertainment games. So so when you start a game, it's like, this was programmed by PlayStation. It's like usually well, it's third parties, Sony. but yeah, it's a, it's a Sony... Sony Entertainment No, PlayStation yeah. doesn't do it. PlayStation makes the... Har- the uh, well, system. yeah, but PlayStation is... They don't well, make okay. the game. That, okay. That's what I'm trying to get at. Sony hairs. Computer Entertainment right make the PlayStation hardware and also develop some games. What games do they develop? Stop being a like, Chad, Luke. Okay, like... <laughs> like uh, totally chatting. Uh, uh, chatting. Ape Escape is a Sony-only game series. Ratchet and Clank? Ratchet and Clank. Um, PlayStation All-Stars, a great... Not did, totally oh, shit oh. Did any of yeah. you guys play the new Crash game? The the yeah. remakes yeah, of the it. originals? The, I don't know. There's, didn't they just remake the new one? Original. Yeah, it's the oh, remakes. Oh, what? Wait, yeah. no, no. I thought it was a new game. It's, they're not. It's, it's all three I thought of it the was. original games. No. What? Crash Insanity Trilogy or whatever? What? It's, it's, the, this, it's yeah. the old game? Yeah, it's just redone. All those super hard Hit. levels and stuff are in the old game? 
Yeah, on an hid. What? HD. HD. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? They're always what like, done in HD, and it's just it's always, it's just like, I, I get that. It's, you don't really need to label Done it. in hexadecimal. <laughs> oh, there we go. There you go. It's Little missing, Indian. I guess. Is a little Indian hexadecimal or big Indian? What? <laughs> is it little Indian or big Indian? I don't know. Well, you would know. <laughs> Thanks. <Aww. laughs> <laughs> it's. Do you do? Have you done any hexadecimal stuff? I have. He- I have hex no decimal. Are stuff. you saying Indian? Yes. I don't know what you're talking about. I A N. Oh. You start with the bigger, small bytes. Enough. So it's, okay. It's a display of the bytes. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah, the byte no. I don't want to say it's programming because it's really not, but. So, are you guys. Anyway, I'm, that I'm joke ask, failed. I'm going to ask. Yeah, really. <laughs> it's fine. Um, this is something I want to ask uh, kind of everyone individually. It's something I was, I was thinking about uh, the other week. And um, are you guys. I'm trying to think how to ask it. Because I'm about to rant on lazy and considerate people. And Am I lazy or inconsiderate? Yes and yes. <laughs> Check and done. That's right. Chad is. Um, that sucks. Also the guy uh, we were talking about. Yes. I was trying to think of like, um, are you guys usually it. directly on time, five minutes late, five minutes early? What's, what's, what, where do five you usually early. fare? I'm always early. I like to Except be early. for tonight. <laughs> I'm usually fairly on time. I'd say on average. I don't, I don't that's, a very, rather... that's a very not confident answer. I am usually fairly good at being okay. <laughs> well, okay I so would rather than wait. I on maybe me probably than... okay with this. I'm pretty I'm pretty good at being on time, but I'd say like thirty percent of the time I'm not on time. But it's usually but like, because but like how much not on time? Like ten minutes. 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, that's, that's that would like, shit out of me. Really late. But the re- usually the reason why I'm late is because I'm coming from something else I had to do. I'm not usually sitting at home before I go anywhere. Well, like do you home. tell people like, hey, I was doing this. Do you at least apologize? Yeah. Or are you one of those asses I, I don't, who like, I'll, I'll they don't even late. acknowledge that they were late? I call late. them like, hey, I'm on the way. I'm on the way. Like, I had to do this oh, well, thing. Or fine. I'll just say that's I'll be 15 minutes late for whatever. I don't just like show up randomly. That's, Good. Just, that's, that's fine. Then. I, I just so hate long. people that show up and they don't ever say why they were late and like never apologize. It's like, man, fuck <laughs> you, dude. Like, <laughs> I was waiting for you. I did, well, I, I know that like... I didn't care. <laughs> that's kind of what it says to me. Uh, or I'm just late because I didn't feel like noticing when you actually decided to meet me. So like, I, I had something happen to me a little while ago where I was talking to somebody and they were like, hey, Luke, can you help me with this thing? And I was like, just in general... No, but like at a specific time, <laughs> yeah. Like I can't just, oh, you know, sometime in the future. Yep, I'll help you. It's like, can we can we plan this Saturday? Do you want to do Saturday? Like, can we meet on Saturday? And really they're not. like, yeah, yeah, let's do Saturday. And I was like, all right, when when do you want to try and meet Saturday? And they're like, oh, like uh, eleven. And so then I was like, okay, hold up, I'm gonna show you something because you need to learn this. Like this is what I said to him. Uh, he's a lot younger than me, so I was, I, I, had, I pulled that card. But basically, yeah. I was like, here's the thing. I'm going to go open my calendar. See this? Because he's always late. He's always late. He's always in, he's like not doing stuff that I, he says he's going to do. He lets me down a lot. So I was like, look, I'm opening my phone, and I'm looking at Saturday, and I'm looking at 11 o'clock. Nothing's there. So look at this. I'm going to create a little event. This is you. I'm reserving this time for you. So if someone says, Luke, do you want to do something Saturday morning? And he was kind of like, okay, yeah. I was like, is that okay? And he like kind of looked at me, and I was like, I'm going to say no because I'm going to help you out, right? Because I put this in here so that I would remember, right? So I'm going to help you on Saturday. He's like, okay, cool. So then he leaves. So Saturday shows up and he doesn't. <laughs> he just doesn't. He doesn't, he doesn't go. And so like I, I like I kind of expected it, honestly. Um, and thankfully, I didn't have anybody like invite me to do anything Saturday morning because I would have said no and then I would be a little ball of fire when you know I found out that I miss all this fun stuff I know because I was like waiting and so so anyway so then I brought that up to him later because he just didn't show up he didn't message me he didn't call me he didn't let me know he didn't acknowledge it later Just, just 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 didn't show up that's it so um I found him later 
and I like ran into him. So I walked up to him and said, okay, so you're in trouble now. <laughs> I was like, this is, you're in trouble. And he was like, oh, sorry. I fell asleep. What? Wow. <sighs> awesome. <laughs> oh, you're in big trouble, mister. That's what about what I felt like a little school teacher. Mm-hmm. I'm send you to the principals. <laughs> so, um, the issue that I have with this, the reason the reason I have a problem with this is because like now any time I because I don't I'm usually not late. I'm usually on time. Um, I'm not usually super early. I'm just right on time. Just right on time. Yeah. Same. Um, a wizard arrives precisely when he means to. Yes. Yeah, so right. if we ever do a would you rather again, I'm the wizard. So, <laughs> I, I disagree. <laughs> so I I um. Oh shoot! Now you made me lose my. Oh yeah. So, I'm usually on time, and the problem is every once in a while, everybody has a bad day where like, oh my tire was flat, or I I got stuck on a call that was really awkward and, and it, it was really difficult for me to get off the phone, or I got stuck at my whatever like some reason something gets yeah. in the way and you're five minutes late, ten minutes late, or something goes wrong. The problem is when you live with a lot of people that are really kind of lazy and inconsiderate. I have nothing I can say to not be put in that box by other people if I'm late. Because then I could be like, no, this is the the only time I'm ever late. I'm usually on time. And they're always like, uh-huh, yep. Mm-hmm. And it's like, no, no, the dog really ate my homework. Uh-huh, yep. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure he did. No, he did. Grandma died. You know, it's like no matter what it is, it's always like, yep. Oh, like, hey, Luke. Yeah. You, you believe me, right? Yeah, man, definitely. Okay. You're saying that when I you believe whatever you want. You're saying that when everyone else is always like not on time and you give them crap for it, the one time you're late, they give you crap. No, no, I'm saying that like people I don't even know are gonna assume that I'm just lying. Oh yeah. Because everyone oh, no. does that. They're like, Oh yeah, dude, I just had this thing come up. Yep, I'm sure you did. <laughs> I wasn't just late. Uh huh. Oh, I hate it. I hate it, because then there's there's really nothing you can say. If you call a stranger, like if you set up an appointment somewhere and then you call the stranger who didn't know you and you're trying to explain to them that you're not an inconsiderate human being who doesn't show up on time. How do you do that? You can't do it. I don't know if it's really that bad because usually, like, I mean, if I've, I, I'm generally on time, and if I'm not, I'll try to call. Like, I'll usually call on the way. Like, hey, I'm late. I'll be there at this time. I'm on my way. Whatever. What if you just missed it? What if you like made a mistake and you just missed an appointment? Um, that hasn't happened to me lately. That has never happened. If it was, it's, it's happened it to me before, but it wasn't something that like was important. It was like a dentist appointment or something like that. Yeah, that's pretty. Your dental hygiene is very important. You're right, but it wasn't emotionally important for any of us. Like they That's didn't true. cry, I didn't cry. It's fine. <laughs> you thought you were friends, Michael. We wanted to just look at your teeth. <laughs> they didn't cry, I didn't cry. It's cool. Yeah, like so it hasn't really happened. It hasn't really been an issue, but I can see how that definitely would. <sighs> for someone but like I, me, it's frustrating. But I do hate when like you are trying to convince somebody of something, and like, oh yeah, sure. And you're like, really? I'm not. Like, oh yeah, I, I, I'm sure you're not. Like, when someone like tells you that you're mad. You're not mad. <laughs> you really like, like, get mad. Oh, you're mad. Yeah. Like, like, you're like, oh, no, it's okay. I'm not upset about it. So like, you sure? Like, yeah, I'm not upset. It's like, cause it's okay if you're upset. Like, don't worry, dude. I'm not upset. All right. You sound kind of upset. So it was just, no, dude, it's fine. I'm not upset. All right, well, <laughs> and you start, you start like, getting kind of standoffish. He he I'm not upset. Well, now I'm upset. <laughs> it's funny because you. you start, you start getting like standoffish. Cause it's like, I'm not, I'm not mad. Oh, well, you kind of, you sound a little mad. No, I'm not. And the worst know, thing dude, is kinda, once you're in that conversation, once you're in that conversation, no matter how you speak, you sound upset. Like, like with a security guard that I told you about last week. Like, I wasn't upset. <laughs> but then he told me I was being confrontational. So then everything I said after that sounded confrontational. No matter how, like, if I speak softly, I sound like I'm just, like, quiet angry. And if I speak, like, animated, <laughs> anim- if I'm animated, then I'm just a sarcastic, like, butthead. Like, there's no way to win. Once, <laughs> once they tell you that you're angry, you can't prove that you're not angry. The silent angry, it's like... I'm not saying you're stupid. <laughs> Just yeah, get see, someone who knows what they're shooter. talking about. Oh, that's true. Like emails. <laughs> like when you oh, yeah. write angry emails at people. I try to never write anything important like that in any kind of textual oh, e- context. E- e- emails and texts are the worst. Like I feel like I, I, I talk in text kind of the way I talk in person. Um, Like in person, I could be like, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't really want an opinion right now. <laughs> but in a text message, it's like, no, I don't want an opinion. Like, that's how they read it. Angry. Yeah, everything opinion. always sounds worse. And, like, people always put, like, emotion into your text message. 
because there's no voice behind it, so they have to. Like when uh, you put a period at the end of your sentence, sound yep. stern. <laughs> Dude, you know I, I or, hate I hate when people or like when old put... people write okay in all caps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's that's how people that. say age. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of funny though too because there's like multiple ways to write okay and I interpret each one different yep I, I'm I trying the to most. think of the, okay. what's yeah, the worst what's the work. worst way you, that, what, how do you know you're in trouble if someone writes okay what, which way do they write it that makes you think this that? is the letter K I, okay. they, <laughs> that or when it's uh, okay period yeah I was gonna say uh, yeah. if it's okay period that means they made effort to say like I'm not saying anything. Else. Especially or they're if the like is lowercase. almost 60. And it's the I was thinking also... it's spelled out fully with the dot, dot, dot at the end. Oh, triple dots. <laughs> he, triple that, dots that, are that's so what bad. I hate. I hate people who, that no matter what, the texting, they always use dot, dot, dots. Like, yeah, some people do that a lot. Text. I find yeah. a lot of females do that. Lot. Yeah, girls do that. Like, I've really I've been seen like, like older guys do it. Or like triple Triple people. dots means I'm like waiting and angry. Yeah, or like, it means like I, 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 so I worked for this one guy at my college. He's a really nice guy. He definitely wasn't upset when he was emailing me. But even when he talks, he kind of like trails off. He's like, "Oh yeah, that'd be that'd be good. You should do that." So I feel like when he's te- when he's emailing, he just does the same thing. He's like, "Yeah, be here at seven o'clock for work if you can." Like that's how. I and then in, like, dot, in the dot, email, dots. it's like, "Be here at seven o'clock." Dot dot dot. Unlike dot, last dot. time. That's the way I would wah, read it. Wah, wah. And the funny thing is, also like whenever he would text, he would for for yes, he would just type Y. So I'd be like, what? should I should I do this this way? He'd be like, why? And I'm like, uh, because I think it'll work really well. <laughs> it's my job. I just kind of thought that. They just meant yes in old people text. Yeah, when I read the triple dots, I kind of, um, I feel like I infer things. Like I just said, like if, if it was like. You have to. Can you be here at seven o'clock today? Dot, dot, dot. It's like <laughs> the dot, dot, dot implies like because you weren't on time yesterday. My boss does the dot dot dots. It always makes me nervous. Like what's worse is the dot dot. Yeah, it's two dots. Because you have to intentionally do that, otherwise it might autocorrect. So you have to delete one, and that usually means that they're being passive aggressive. <laughs> I feel I feel like two it could be an accident. Actually, it's funny because uh, um, or just the, stop using autocorrect. Uh, oh no, but like people like like people, I feel like people do dot, the two dots is usually passive aggressive from what I hear and like what I've seen. So I'll just stop t- stop texting Damn. them completely. <laughs> But I've I've mentioned to my boss, I'm like, hey, the way you type makes me nervous. <laughs> what do you say? He's like, that? I'm sorry. I don't die. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it just always a... sounds like I'm in trouble. He's like, can you come meet me in the office room? Dot dot dot. I'm like, the oh, dot dot shit. dot okay. implies like I'm He's like, waiting. Oh, for we're you. gonna talk about this. I'm like, man, you, you <laughs> sound so different. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like, just, but... It's kind of like when someone's like, Can I, I need to talk to you later. That's how the dot Yeah, dot it's kind of like that, sounds. but he's dot, dot, dot. I'm like, oh, fuck, what'd I do? And he's like, oh, we're going to talk about uh, your good performance. I'm like, man, dude, you need to learn to type <laughs> different. <laughs> I think, oh, uh, God. I'm trying to think of what Heart other things that, what, there's like those implicit, like texting is almost becoming like another language, like the things that you do, uh, whether it's like the dot, dot, dots, or it's like <laughs> spelling things out. Like when we, when, like I always show sarcasm by doing all caps. Or yelling. Like, yeah. Or well, it's like it's usually like sarcastic. I never, I would never do all caps if I was like actually angry at somebody. Yeah. I would do an exclamation also mark. But I also do an exclamation I would mark do that. if I'm like, excited. Or I do like uh, parentheses for whispering. And uh, <laughs> people actually understand what I'm saying. Which is kind of funny. Oh yeah, I do. I do parentheses as kind of like subtext. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? The yeah, fuck? I'll do parentheses like, for whispering as well. What the hell is wrong with you people? It's like do, putting your hand up to your mouth. Or... Like. You're writing text. This ah, oh, doesn't make sense. It doesn't because sense. in my head, it's like blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> you know, like this is it works. Like, I, like, I really feel like, 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 like oh, so our friend, like, yeah. our friend Chad, and then all of a sudden, like in the little whisper things, it's like his name isn't Chad. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? Our friend Chad. You know who the fuck? Name is Shane. <laughs> it's not Shane. That's right. It's Shane. Shane. <laughs> oh, Shane. he's not here to save you. Actually, Shane had something he was going to talk about today, and now he's just not here. He's fucking sad. He's Leave me alone. Late. Wow. What? I know. All he, to do, he, all he has to do is just sit in a chair and talk to his friends. 
Hey man, he's sick. That's That's right, Shane. No, the thing is, the problem I have with it is he literally said to me, "Luke, I have news for you when we get on the podcast." Oh yeah, he did. Now, now he's just. He was like, he's like, oh, oh, just. And I was like, should I be? Yeah. Uh, what? And he was like, "Uh, just wait for the podcast, Luke. And now he just didn't show up. Ruined it. That's that's his surprise. It's out. That's like I thought about that. His surprise (laughs) is like, so Luke, I'm just gonna peace out, Shane. I'm going pro with my other podcast. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Bye. Everything's fine. Not all right. Just fine. Daddy's all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, communication is hard. Can't run away. He'll find me. <laughs> no. no. No, Daddy gonna... beats me. <laughs> We're not going <laughs> to... We're not. We're not. Oh man. We're not gonna talk about that on this podcast. Well, that makes it sound oh, worse. That's good. It's a video. Just FYI for those of you who are listening. Highly recommend it. Look up Derek Comedy. Um, talent show. I can't remember. Which I, one I think I'm pretty sure it's talent show. John, is this a picture of you? Yeah, it's a picture of me. That's really oh. rude, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I put on some weight. That'd be kind of funny, though. He sent a picture to the podcast chat of, oh. like... Did you send that to somebody else or just to us? Just just you guys. <laughs> this is best I friends. Just a, I just made it full screen. It's your wallpaper now. Yep. The uh, beard looks good, FYI. Thanks, man. Oh, that's, like, a new right. thing. No shave November. Is anybody doing that? Awesome. I always I, shave I, at, like, I the beginning of November. Shave. I always fail. No shave, no I, I shave and my wife's in town because she doesn't like my beard. What? She's, she wait, she doesn't like it at all? She doesn't like it rubbing against stuff. No, she likes <laughs> my beard, just not like when I'm insanely hairy. Right, when I get she's not out, here out of control. Because I don't want to groom myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you're a programmer. You don't, oh, there, there's something. Anybody. There's something that I can that I can bring up. So I work in a building with Bungie. Okay, so like they work Let's on a floor. Down. We work on, so I work with, yeah, really. Uh, I work on a Tell floor. One suck. of the floors, Bungie, it works on like three of the floors. Then there's like a wine place, and then there is like my team, or like my team, my company. And so my company, it's like pe- anyone who looks like they're in college or recently out of college, they're going to my floor because that's what that's what they all look like. Okay, anybody going to the wine floor has like a suit and like dress shoes. They're going to the wine floor. <laughs> now let me tell you. About the people who go to the bungee floor. I saw someone today, and he had a ponytail. Okay, that's that's okay. Totally missed, not shaved at all. Like not like his beard was just long. It just was like lopsided, you know, like real thin. That really thin, like golem like kind of beard. Like if golem had a beard, it's like a waterfall, you can like see through it. Yeah, oh. it's like transparent beard that goes down to their shoulders, just is like sh- messy. And then he had like a baggy T-shirt, like that was like kind of stretched on the neck type shirt. Then he had <laughs> he had like cargo pants, but the back pocket was like ripped off. Like it was like <laughs> it was like if he'd put his wallet in, it would have just fallen out because it just was ripped. Mm-hmm. And then he was wearing flip flops. <laughs> That's the look it's of success like, right there. Yeah, I guess so. He's probably making more money than well, me. There's that picture where it says uh, programmer just out of school and they're wearing a business suit and it says programmer with a job and then they look like they've lived on the streets. <laughs> so like, like it's pretty accurate. That's me right now, man. Like, if, I, if, if you didn't know me at my job, you'd be like, <laughs> why'd you let this homeless man come inside? <laughs> Are you allowed to dress pretty casual at your job? Yeah. I'm not a lot of like, graphic tees. It's like, like offensive. Like you can literally wear a t-shirt. Yeah, that's the thing about programming. You literally can just dress kind of however you want. I mean, I, I live at home. I, I live at home. I <laughs> work at home three days a week. So I mean, I could be naked on those days. The interesting thing is, I guess it's because if nice. they if they put any dress code <laughs> for good programmers, no, they wouldn't get any. They wouldn't come. Yep. But but I can't wear. They, they would all lose pants. their jobs. Heck no. There's a uh, guy at my job that only comes in for the um, company-wide meetings, which happens once a month. Oh, no. And uh, 
like at first I didn't know who the heck he was because I walked into the break room <laughs> and there's just this really old guy, this humongous beard. He's really short, like four feet, super skinny, oh. wearing a hoodie, shorts that are really high above the knee, and these huge <laughs> military combat boots. Oh my nice. wow. It's That's always amazing. the combat boots and then the zip up hoodie. Yep. Look, hoodies are comfortable and easy to wear. I, I know I get it, easy but it's just wear. like it's just like you'd think <laughs> like you, what, the, the excuse the excuse like programmers always make is it's like, well these are these clothes are comfortable. But then they all wear the same clothes. Yeah, they it's all the do. same. Like how so, out of all the clothes in the world judgmental. is a hoodie the most comfortable thing you can wear? Pretty kind much. Of. Cause I can wear whatever the fuck I want underneath. I can wear unappropriate shirts at work because they won't see it because I'm wearing my hoodie. Yeah. Have you done that? Oh, I won't ask. I'm not gonna admit anything. For like a few seconds, I'm gonna be in my non-underwear at all. Oh. Okay. Cool. My roommate just told me he's gonna be naked outside my room, so I can't get up for the next five minutes. Hey, you know, that's that's casual Fridays. Casual Fridays. Woo! Sorry. Well, we were talking about getting comfortable, and his roommate's like, "I'm gonna get naked." Okay. So, so why are you getting naked? So I can change pants. What? Why does that have to do with me? Because if you open the door, he likes the breeze door, outside your door. Open, and you're just gonna see my ass. <laughs> why are you changing your pants with your door open? Because I don't feel like going all the way in my room. <laughs> but your room he, is right he sat down. outside your he door. Sat, he sat <laughs> down to have a whole conversation with you. I just want to go to throw my pants. In you're not wearing <laughs> pants right now. <laughs> throw out my ankles. <laughs> okay, go do do your thing. Cool. All right, so here's the thing I don't understand. He he had a a twenty second conversation with you because he didn't feel like walking to close the yeah what? he doesn't want to walk into his room and change his pants he wants to so change he had his a pants. Twi- twenty second conversation his, with his you his door is like five feet from my door which is so, like and so inside his room is less than that into his room but yeah he's a strange guy but he's cool I get it except for when he's not wearing pants. He's like an old no, he's cool when he's not around. wearing pants because uh, he's coming back. Oh, he's no. wearing pants. Oh, whoa. Christ oh, subverted. Oh, back to Amrated. Right now, but I oh, have to tell you this. You know how there's speckled paint all over me? Yeah. There's speckled paint on my penis. <laughs> I don't know how I got there. This is a lot I'm learning about someone I've never met. <laughs> That's right. Like this is a lot I'm learning about someone I've never met. I'm probably so we, paint, we painted today. I work for a painting company. He just started working paint with us. Paint his penis? Why does he have pain on his penis? I don't know he has paint on his penis. Why was he, was he using his hand? It was the exact same, like, speckles. All right, dude. This is going to go on the internet, by the <laughs> way. It's the whole so. thing. <laughs> does he know that we're on a podcast yeah, right now? Yeah, he knows I'm on a podcast. All right. Like, tell him what he's saying in the podcast. <laughs> he needed to tell him. the episode title? Does he want to tell us his name? Clay, you want to tell us your name? Well, fucking Do you want to tell us your name? You just said it. I know. I know. I was joking with you. It's, uh, Has he listened to the podcast? Leif Erickson. Have you listened to the podcast? Yeah. He said yeah. Is it good? Do you like it? With you. Who's your favorite? They're asking me. me. Oh yeah. Definitely. He can't hear you guys. So I'm relaying the messages. Yeah, I know. Totally. Yeah, relay uh, him. Sean, who's Sean who's cool. his met, favorite met, and why is it me? Pretty cool. Who's your favorite and why is it Brent? Uh, Brent is my I heard the door really close. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What did he say? The way he appreciates what? Reappreciates and reciprocates the reach around. There you go. He appreciates and reciprocates the reach around. What just? Yeah, what? Around it, What's going on? Reach I'm not telling you. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be permanently on here, and they probably know. So I know. Okay. I just I wanted you to explain because this is your time to shine. Uh, okay. All right. That's right. Like Welcome and to what? the podcast. I love you. What? I love you too. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. What a, well, this is a beautiful love story. It is. Twilight. Right. We've All been right. together since we were 12. It's beautiful. That's a little creepy, though. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long term relationship. Yeah. Yeah. It's been crazy. Okay. Well. All right. So, yeah. Um, so, what are we talking about before? Yeah, comfortable clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently to yep. your roommate it's no clothes. Yeah, actually he hates wearing clothes. He's always wearing like just sweatpants and I heard so, and someone like, someone was explaining to me that like the way you are most naked is to be naked with just shoes on. <laughs> you're the most naked which I guess that's, <laughs> the, weirdest, that, that's the weirdest way to be naked. No, no, that is the most naked you can get because what? you like obviously were making an effort. Yeah, because like you, you took all like, your clothes off and put <laughs> shoes on. <laughs> I guess that's kind of true. Well, maybe, not, maybe not the most naked, but the, like, the the weirdest naked. If you if you were like 
um, we're going to take Maybe a like shower. A if you were going to take a shower and took all your clothes off and then all of a sudden something happened and your house <laughs> blew away or something and you were just naked outside, everyone would be like, oh, maybe he didn't mean to end up outside. But if you're wearing <laughs> shoes, like you went out I mean, with the intention I had, of being If naked. I had to run away from anything, I would definitely put shoes on even if I didn't put <laughs> clothes on. Because like there are sharp things on the ground, and I don't need to worry about, worry about my feet while my like naked body. That's right. Is Someone, in the, elements. the the psycho guy comes after you in the shower, and you knock him down. Put your shoes on. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude! <laughs> I try, I try, I, if I would knock him down, though, I'd try to beat him up. But then, yeah, I grab my shoes and run away. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> If I knock him down, I get a successful knockdown. I'm yep. going to beat him up. Yeah, I mean, well, if he's trying to kill you and you no, can knock him down, you, you you should just keep going. It's funny like because like you, you knock him down and it's like, oh, he's got a knife. He's going to stab me. I don't want to get stabbed with a knife, but I also don't want to get stabbed in the foot with like a stick. So I'm going to put my shoes on here. Really quick. <laughs> <laughs> One second. Please. Exactly. You get me. <laughs> Getting stabbed right, in the foot is the worst thing ever. Let's um let's wrap this podcast up. So it was, it's on plus, death. I know. It's, it's, someone's getting stabbed. Someone's dying. That's where it ends. I'm not wearing Every shoes. Wait, we'll just call the the podcast the Death Podcast Special. or something. All right, Michael. That whole title. Do you have any plugs? Uh, just follow me on Instagram, Michael Demas, M Y K O L D I M A S, and my friend Ian and I are coming out with a Christmas EP. <gasps> um, before so. Christmas. Is it holiday tunes or? It'll come out around Christmas. It'll probably be a mix of like some Christmas carols and maybe some newer versions of stuff. Mm, I am interested. It'll be out mm. somewhere. I'll give you all info when it comes out, but it'll be out yes, before Christmas time. Yes. So yeah. it's going to okay. be cool. That's uh, it. Brent. Uh, nothing any different. John. What's up? Hmm? What? <laughs> What's up? He's asking I'm... me any plugs. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, got like, a couple plugs I was like, no, way. I'm really curious to know if he's faking <laughs> this. <laughs> or if he actually, like, wasn't paying attention. That was funny as shit. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I, was just, I was just hoping to get, do you have any plugs so I could say I have some in the wall? Come on. Uh, okay. All right. I got nothing. All right. I'm, uh, I'll just, uh,. I'll see myself off the podcast. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Luke Roxwold. I just released like two videos this week already. One on Tuesday, one on Thursday. Um, they're both pretty good. Check them out um, on my vlog channel. And I just got my new camera. I said that last week, but I, psych, I'm, it wasn't. I actually didn't get it. I had to return it for reasons <laughs> I don't want to talk about. Ah, bummer. Um, and yeah, so new videos. Check those out. Listen to all of our other episodes. Check everyone else out on all of their plugs. Tune in to us next week for the next episode. Thanks, everybody. All right, bye, guys. Bye. bye. Outro Have music. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Woo-woo. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Happy. Oh, Merry yeah. Christmas. Have a good Thanksgiving. Oh, wait, no. We'll have another episode. Another, another episode. <laughs> okay, bye. Uh, See you. Have a good time. Enjoy your normal week. Bye.